Hi everyone and welcome back and as you can see we're at the Crystal Palace Caravan and Motorhome Club site. It's October 2018 and the site was due to close at the end of this year. However, redevelopment plans have been delayed and it's now going to be open until at least uh, December 2019. So with that in mind, I thought we'd give you a look around. So this is what greets you as you enter the site. Arrivals lane to the left there, there's two late night arrival pitches and the building there is reception with the information area and if we move around to the right there's a small area for visitors car parking and just a little bit further around that's the exit barrier. Okay reception is currently closed as they're probably cleaning the facilities um, but as you can see from the notice there they do stock a number of handy things, toilets, crisps, bacon, juice, waffles, bread and so on, all very handy. So this is the information room and as you can see it also contains the defibrillator, something I've become quite aware of. <laughs> Some good advice there on how to get into London, including timetables. Couple of leaflet racks. And some information on Crystal Palace itself, including the museum and the Crystal Palace Park dinosaurs. And there's some second hand books for sale to uh, proceeds to charity. And you can take away printed directions to some of London's tourist attractions too. So just past reception is the tent area. And not surprising it's closed this time of year, but we're just going to have a quick look. And they have their own facilities block too. As you can probably hear, this corner of the site does get a little road noise. Quite a pleasant spot though. So back at reception now and we'll swing round to the right and go through the entrance barrier. There's a maximum of 71 touring pitches and in the summer they use this grass area too. And more grass pitches here when the weather allows. And as a just a quick shot there looking back up at the grass pitches. Let's move down a bit further. We're in the main area of the site now. Uh, if we swing round to our left, that's the main facilities block. It's not the most up to date. Uh, if bear in mind this site's been under threat of closure for a number of years, you can understand why the club haven't redeveloped it. However, every time we've been here, it has been immaculately clean and tidy. There's all the usual there, washing up area and a laundrette as well. So at this end you'll find some bins, motorhome service point, chemical waste point and fresh water and wastewater emptying point. And if we swing round, there are some non-awning touring pictures just down the end there. And right at the end there is the other side of the tent area. So turning back around now, just you see in front of you, that's pitch 71. All the rest of the pitches we're looking at now will be hard standing. They're a mixture of awning and non. Looking ahead now, that's the first of two little loops. That's the main road that continues through the site. I said two loops, but there's actually three because there's one on the left here too. And we're just going to swing around and have a look. That's the first half of it, and you might just see at the end there the walkway that takes you round to the facilities block. Right, heading down a bit further, we turn around to the right, that's a return for the first loop I talked about. And if we swing back, 
that's returned for the one on the left. All right, heading down a bit further and again round to the right, the third loop. There's also a service point there as you can see off in the usual. And that unit in the middle there you see on the right hand side is Patsy, that's pitch 42. And that's the return of the third loop there. The loops are all one way round. Yeah, right at the bottom of the site now. These are the last of the pitches. So there we go folks, just a little look around the Crystal Palace Caravan and Motorhome Club site. One thing I forgot to show you, there's a tiny little dog walking area uh, just behind the facilities block. Um, handy for I suppose those early morning or late night visits, but you are literally next door to Crystal Palace Park, so you've got loads of room there. Uh, it's an attractive enough site I guess, but it's, its key thing is its location. It's a 10, 5 10 minute walk to the bus stop and a number 3 bus will take you right into central London. So, hope you found it useful and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.